I'm in bed right now. And I was just thinking that um, there's an interesting dream I had once that uh, I'd, I'd uh, I guess I'll tell the story. <clears throat> God, it's fucking hot. So, um, the start of the dream, I was living, I had my own house. Obviously, a dream, you know, I'm owning my own house. <laughs> and, um, it was, in the neighborhood was interesting because it was kind of like those Japanese neighborhoods that don't, they're all packed together on a street and like walled off and shit. But it's all like one, or I mean two-story houses, but they're pretty small. So I had a house like that. Um, and I was on the corner of a four-way intersection. <laughs> and I lived alone. And one night, I, uh, I went, or I saw, I saw something happening... Uh, in the intersection and I was peeking around the corner of my house to see what's going on and there's just a fucking UFO right there in the corner of the intersection well, or in the middle well, kind of on the other side um, the road was surprisingly large for that style of neighborhood more like an American road for your big ass Ford F-150s So, so the UFO drops off some, uh, like three aliens, and it's like the typical, like, gray alien kind of, so they don't have the bulbous head, they look a little more human than the typical gray alien, and they all, once they get down, they shapeshift. And they could turn into this human form to, um, blending in and then one of them has like this alien vehicle and the alien vehicle also changes form into a car and he drives away another dude another alien gets like a bicycle and goes down a different way and then one of the aliens um, it starts walking over to my house, and I get scared, and I go, and I hide inside, but somehow the, the alien got in, so I'm like hiding in my bedroom and shit, and the alien is, is coming after me, looking for me, and, um, They're, they're disguised as, uh, like a girl, I, th I think. Um, it's been a while since I had the dream. And nothing really bad happens. They're just pissing me off and annoying me, really. Like, kind of scaring me because they're an alien from outer space and I don't know what they're gonna do. And they're just a nuisance really like it ends up being a quite a long time that this alien is in my house they're essentially just another roommate but they're just constantly breaking shit and and just doing just bizarre things and getting on my nerves and 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 like sometimes attacking me and and being a uh, a little abusive, um, 
in in many ways just a terrible relationship with this with this uh squatter <laughs> alien um i don't remember much of of the that part of the dream I just remember there was a long time of us living together and and kind of me did not liking them and getting annoyed by them but them not leaving and I just kind of accept it like there's nothing I can do this alien girl is just living with me pissing me off and you know I'll just have to fucking suck it up and deal with it and then There's one night I come out. Oh, God, I'm trying to remember what happened. Let me see if I can, um... Is this still recording? Wait, hold on, so it's at... It's actually here. I'm gonna go here. Oh, wait, okay, hold on. I think it's still recording. So let me... See if I can, uh... I think I wrote down... The dream. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, was this... What the fuck is that? Okay, that's not the right... That is a dream I wrote, but that's not the right one. Um... Oh, God. Some strange things I wrote in this app. Okay, I guess I'll just go over to... To Discord. I remember I sent my friends... Told them about it. Uh, alien search. Wait. No, wait. Let me see. There we go. Okay, scroll up. Oh, yeah, okay, so... Oh, oh, apparently... Uh, yeah, so I found where I wrote it down. Uh, apparently in the dream I was frequently hiding on the roof to be alone. I don't remember that. And then, so... Anyways, after a while of living together, um, uh, it was a uh, nighttime, and I don't remember what she had done at this point. Honestly, I can't remember if she was an alien or a human. I think she might have just stopped using her disguise. I can't fucking remember. And I, since it's a dream, I feel like I, it just kind of morphed into halfway alien, halfway disguise, you know, because dreams are just fucking weird. So anyways. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, oh, let me go back. Here we are. Um, so anyways. What was I saying? Oh. So it was nighttime, um, and she had just done something to piss me off. I don't remember what. Might have broken something. Might have, I don't know, just not, I don't know. It might have been something just very minor, but 
you know, all it's all keep just all the history I had with her. I just blew up and I started um, yelling at her, saying how much I fucking didn't want them in my life because they were terrorizing me and just making my life worse constantly, no rest and shit. Because I'm always worried that they're gonna do something. Um, and, uh, while I was yelling at her, she was doing something in the kitchen. Um, and I said I wanted her to leave my house. I wanted her out of my life, finally. And she started, uh, crying, just straight up on crying and uh, kind of took me back because you know it's not really something I'd seen from them before and they said they were just trying to cook a good holiday dinner. They, they wanted to make me something that would make me happy. And they were trying to do it, but they were not, they were just not good at cooking and don't know much about cooking. And, you know, doesn't really know much about anything on earth. She's just been trying to get a grasp of social norms and the language and you know what life is like on earth and um you know I kind of felt bad because you know you put it in a different light it's you know Somebody's trying to learn more about you and you're just pushing them away and being cold and not wanting to be around them. But they're just trying to learn, you know? It kind of made me reflect, think maybe some of the bad behavior was my fault, you know? Um... And, uh, so, I apologized to her, because I realized maybe I didn't really need to have yelled at her then, and, you know, I ought to help her for once. And, uh, she asked... If I could help her figure out how to cook a a good dinner, um, and I decided I wanted to, you know, make up for being a little rude, so I said that I would help make dinner, and she uh, was very she was ecstatic very happy, and she ran over to me, and I forgot, I forgot to mention this, but she's, uh, she and her, the other aliens were all very tall, like seven feet tall, um, very tall, kind of, kind of built, Not not super lanky kind of built, you know. So, and I'm fucking short as fuck, so she's towering over me, well over a foot taller than me. <laughs> so, she runs over, happy that I'm going to help, and, and picks me up and hugs me. 
Um, it's a, it was just a very nice hug. And here's where we start getting into the part of the dream that's a little a little bit not safe for work. <laughs> I don't know if anybody was expecting that. Um, her skin was very soft. Alien skin, it just has a soft property, I guess. Maybe they're <laughs> fans of moisturizer. <laughs> That's why they came to Earth, to buy Dove. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but her skin was super soft. And the hug was very warm and comfortable. And because she was so tall, when she came to hug me, she lifted me up. You know, I'm kind of hanging down a little bit. So I just wrap my legs around her to support myself and make the hug fuller. From there, she carried me over to my bed, which was right next to the kitchen for some reason. But it had a beautiful sunroof and the, there was a full moon out shining directly down onto the bed um and on and on the bed we started making out very romantically not like like i've had a i've had fucking wet dreams before but it's more like a porno you know it's like just a quick fantasy but this was more like a romance movie kind of thing where it, it's a lot of emotion that's been built up over time and you're you're being soft and careful with each other since you're still learning each other you know especially because <laughs> one of us isn't even human <laughs> Um, and it was very, very romantic. And, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked up what I wrote for this part. <laughs> I actually remembered I was able to write down one of the things I said in the dream. Holy fuck. Or one of some of the dialogue. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Holy fuck. I can't believe that. Oh my god. Ah, oh, holy fuck. That is fucking funny. Oof. I'm trying not to laugh hard right now. It's fucking goddamn 3.40 a.m. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just... <laughs> okay, okay. Let me just work my way there carefully. <laughs> Slowly. I'll be able to spit it out without laughing. Yeah, okay. <coughs> God. <there's... coughs> Fuck. There's a turn of snot in my throat for some reason. Oh. So, after... A long time of making making out and uh, 
hugging each other and making out. She got up. She sat up and... I think she stood up off the side of the bed while I was laying down and... Excuse me. She said... Towering over me, she looked down. (laughs) I don't know the human body well. Did I mimic a woman correctly? And... I don't know. I wonder if anybody could guess this. I pulled down her pants and a slightly kind of like a, a little over average cock flopped out. And in my dream, I looked at her, her fucking alien penis. And I looked back at her, and I said, perfectly, in response to her asking if she mimicked the female body well. And then, um, I sucked some fucking alien cock, romantically. And that that was the end of the dream, I think. Keep in mind, I I laughed really... I I was laughing really hard, remembering the fucking... Perfectly. That is... And just also the fucking... Did I mimic the female body correctly? That's fucking... I can't... That is really funny to me right now, but I remember in the dream... <clears throat> it was a very uh it was a very emotional moment very cuz there she's opening up to me it's asking me something quite personal you know and it doesn't really matter what you know I give her my answer not in a way that is truthful, but in in a way that is truthful to me, I suppose, or, you know, meaningful to me, which is what she wanted, not what the truth was, you know. So, in the dream, it was not silly and laughy. It was intimate and uh, loving. Also, this wasn't, it wasn't even like a wet dream. I didn't, it's not like I woke up with a fucking raging erection because even in the most not safe for work part, suck an alien cock. It was still very not um, fetishized or anything. It was it was slow and and careful, you know. Not not. I don't, I don't know what the the best word would be to describe like the difference between uh porn sex and romantic sex you know i one of them is um commodified i guess but no it's it's just gonna be more because porn sex is always very crazy very bombastic uh showy and over the top you know it's not it's not personal in any way it's like it's like the difference between let's see difference between 
Oh, how you dress at a party or in public versus how you dress at home? I don't know if that really works. You know what I'm trying to say. This was not porn sex. This was partner love interest sex. And I do remember after that, I think our relationship became a lot better just because we had managed to communicate and understand each other just happy so if if there's like categories for dreams you know then that would that that was not a wet dream that was a a uh, romance dream i think that was actually probably the first I ever had, I mean, if I ever had another one before, it wasn't memorable enough. It wasn't as well written as that. Because I remember waking up and really feeling very sad. That's why I try not to watch romance anime. Because it's enjoyable while you're watching it, but after I finish, it's just sad. But I'll always look back on that dream fondly. Because the feeling of overcoming a difficulty, emotional, social difficulty with someone and gaining love for them, it was just a very nice feeling. So that was my, my dream. My fond dream. Yeah. Good night, bitch. <coughs> so, I was reading over my messages again in Discord. I forgot. Um, one of the reasons that the dream was so memorable. I, for, I forgot to, uh, um, accentuate this part. All of the, the touch and the, the feeling and the smells, the tastes, were very, very real. It, it was, it was very physical. When I woke up from the dream, I could still feel it still feel her skin, her smell, her cock in my mouth. (laughs) So yeah, all of that was, was, it was, I remembered it for hours after that. It was, it it felt so real. Um, and secondly, apparently, I, I forgot about this, but apparently that was the second dream I've had a relationship, romantic relationship with a trans woman. Although, do you call the alien girl a trans woman? Anyways. Um, I can't remember anything about the first dream, but I do remember I had some sort of romantic relationship with a, with a trans girl in another dream. But I can't remember anything about it other than I'm pretty sure (laughs) this is kind of ridiculous, but 
all of their clothes and their hair were the trans flag. <laughs> and that's the only thing that stands out to me from that. I can't remember anything else. I just remember I had a romantic relationship. <clears throat> and they were very open about their identity. So, I think my subconscious is telling me something. <laughs> Especially because I can't remember any romantic dreams with cis people. I think, I'm trying to remember, I don't think, I can't, yeah, I want to say a romantic dream, I mean like full on romantic, not a, not just a dream where like, I've got a crush on somebody, anyways, yeah, sorry for the addendum, good night, again.